Harama and the car was uh, just handling so badly it was it was not it was simply not on the pace and in fact I remember after qualifying it he said it was just like a big red Cadillac uh, which went down very well in Italy but he made a wonderful start and came by at the end over the line at the end of the first lap with only the two Williams of Jones and Reutemann in front of him he passed Reutemann going into the first corner so now he was second behind Jones and then oh I don't know I can't remember I guess six or eight laps later Jones unaccountably dropped it just spun off and that was it so now Gilles is in the lead with Reutemann and Lafitte and Watson and De Angelis and so on behind him and it's very early in the race very hot and most of that circuit was very tight and sinewy where the Ferrari was at a huge disadvantage so Gilles knew in, in effect what he had to do he faced about an hour and a half and just had to keep these people behind him and he was there was a single long straight the pit straight where he made the very best of his power advantage so he'd pull out a little way down there and he had it in the back of his mind all he had to do was come out of the last corner on the, the lap in, in the lead and for sure he would win because on, on horsepower no one was going to beat him to the line so it was simply a matter of, of keeping them behind him and to do that he simply had to drive faultlessly for an hour and a half not make the tiniest mistake because any mistake and uh, and at least one of them would have been past him because they were all over him through the through the slow corners and he just did that it was a, an absolutely perfect drive